the benefit of the collegiate cyber defense competition accrues to everybody who's involved with it. On the part of the students, th this gives the student teams that are participating an early opportunity to get something akin to a real world experience. They are, they are obviously when they're participating in a competition, they are dealing with a fictitious company and a network that was set up and created simply to conduct this competition. So we can pretend that the systems are live and production systems, but of course, in reality, they're not. So if a system crashes, uh, nothing really, really bad happens. So, but, but the students are getting hands-on uh, experience with uh, running a network, with identifying and analyzing um, compromises that might occur within that network, uh, and responding to those, responding with uh, computer incident, incident response teams, um, identifying uh, in some cases forensic evidence that could be used if there is a violations of criminal or civil statutes, um, bringing the systems back up in the air, prevention to prevent systems from going down when there are uh, attacks against it. So all elements of, of computer security, it's much, much better than the lab environment that you get at a typical, in a typical computer lab. Um, first of all, it's competitive, so they have a bunch of teams competing to see if they can do the best job, and the competition is always very good, and it's extremely challenging, so uh, the students gain a lot. From the standpoint of the, the what we call the red team, the, the, we have 14 or 15 professional uh, computer security experts who constitute our, uh, quote, red team. They are the people who are trying to break into the systems, trying to, to introduce uh, viruses or um, simply penetrate the systems to get information from them or to bring them down or w whatever, bad things. And these, uh, uh, the red team people, uh, usually in their professional careers, they are only dealing with live production systems. You know, their clients are owning, obviously, real companies, real banks, real retail establishments. And they have minimal opportunities to experiment with new kinds of attacks. In this simulated environment, in this competitive uh, student competition environment, they get to try out a lot of new stuff. And uh, so I, what I found is by seeing how those uh, folks are, are, are engaged in this competition, they find it to be challenging and, and a good experience and as well as a whole lot of fun. I mean, everybody in there in the competition today and yesterday and I'm sure tomorrow will be, will be enjoying the learning experience that they, are, that they are having. And then from the standpoint of the organizers, the, the third element that you asked about, um, they, they not only, are, they also are interested in the subject matter themselves, so they too are excited by the competition, the same as, as both the student uh, defenders and the, and the red team uh, hackers or attackers. But in addition, they have an interest in promoting this as a career field and in attracting more students into it and showing to other students, for example, through this type of video, showing to all students how this can be an exciting and, um, and beneficial career field. The future evolution of this type of competition, I think, is, is very bright. First of all, we now have a national administration that is interested in computer security as a field. Uh, there have been various statements coming from the new administration supporting the uh, efforts to uh, highlight this and to put money into it and, and to really to focus attention on computer security, web-based security, uh, all kinds of, of network uh, security aspects. CyberWatch is one of the 36 advanced technological education centers that is funded by the National Science Foundation. Uh, Congress gave money to the NSF to uh, sponsor a series of programs and centers around the country this started about 16 or so years ago. Um, about four years ago, that, that was expanded to include the field of computer security. And uh, NSF funded three such uh, regional centers in uh, computer security. Uh, when they offered to do that, we, at Prince George's Community College, uh, a consortium was put together with five community colleges and five four-year schools. Prince George's Community College was the lead institution and they applied for one of the three grants that NSF was giving and we won one of those grants. So 
Since uh, October of 2005, the CyberWatch Center has existed. It has grown to uh, currently 27 institutions, 15 community colleges and 12 four-year schools, plus a whole series of government agencies and private businesses that participate in the consortium.